Hey, hey, and welcome yet again. There you go. What am I doing? Well, um, I've been doing this close to two years since version four, and you know what? I have never done a tutorial on painting Creator. Isn't that embarrassing? All right, what is it? Let's go to tools and open up painting Creator. Voila, there it is. All right, let's have a quick look at how this all works. I'll try and not make this into a long winded. Well, if I shut up and do it, and then uh, let's do it. Yeah. All right. All I, up here, I have the brushes. Uh, brush, chalk, uh, crayon, psychedelic, uh, you name it, bristles. I've got them all up here. I can go into the cog wheel and then change uh, options. The angle of my brush, the, the hardness of the brush here, as you can see, or the transparency of the brush. I'll, sh I'll show you the angle. Uh, let's make this into, a, I don't know, a flat looking brush brush angle i can then rotate it so my brush stroke will be on whatever angle i choose it to be and that's kind of cool so that's how i can change what the brushes do softness or hardness uh, i can change the width and height of my brush strike or i can do it in unison so if i lock down the little lock and move the slider as you can see the width and height go at the same time so that's kind of cool Let's keep moving. I have two options when using Painting Creator. I can use a still mode. In other words, I can draw and then create, take a picture of that drawing or I can animate it. So while I am drawing, I'm capturing it. I'm making a video of what I'm doing. So let's do both. To start, you have the option of going where this little camcorder is to choose animation mode or still mode. Let's do still mode first. So whatever I do on this canvas, like so uh, I now take a snapshot and that's the end of it I now have a picture of this okay voila isn't that a, just a piece of art or a piece of crap never mind let's go back into painting creator let's do the animation mode so go into animation mode it says start recording so yes let's do the same thing and stop now once i'm happy with that i press ok it will go through the little animation and then it will render it out the duration of my clip is three seconds and i'll show you how you can change that duration as well 93 4 5 6 7 8 9 100 bam let's press play and there it is so that's the difference between still and animation mode realistically it just sells itself, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't need really to tell you. Maybe that's why I never did a tutorial. Let's go back into Tools, Painting Creator. I can import this image as my background, so let's do that. Uh, I use this little icon here, and I have given me three options. Current image and timeline. Whatever is in the timeline, yes. I press OK, and voila, there's my picture. So that's kind of cool. I can also in import my own picture so that's kind of cool. If I zoom out, I can see the size of my picture compared to the size of my canvas. So, so my canvas size is actually bigger than my picture. Well, never mind. Let's go one to one ratio. In other words, go 100% fit the screen. I'm going to go out of the animation mode and into still mode so I can get rid of those wordings. Let's keep moving. Let's say I do this for no reason whatsoever. I made a mistake. I can undo that just by clicking here. And that erases any and all artwork that I have done. So be careful of that. I can also just do, like so, and the undo once. So let's pick something really obvious. If I do white dots here, I can do one white dot at a time, or I can do all of them in one hit. I have an eraser tool as well. So if I really want to be pedantic, I can then individually erase them out. Voila, voila. that's pretty cool. Color picker. I have a couple of options on how to choose my color. I can just use my thumbnail. Uh, my eyedropper here, let's say blue, changes to blue. Maybe I want the orange from the bag. All right, then I choose the eyedropper over here and then click on that. And now the bag, uh, the orange from the bag is in the color picker. Left click on here and I have the option of going even more in depth regarding the color that I want to use. So to pick a color, you have a lot of options. I can go even further than that. I can use textures. So let's, uh, let's go back into the 
default color, which was white. And I'll show you how to change that default color as well. Textures, here we go. Let's open the textures and let's use checkered plate as my texture. Okay, I'm gonna increase my brush size and I'm gonna make it a hard edge. Okay, and now you'll see that as I move this along, I'm getting the checkered plate coming through my brush strokes. And that is what textures do. And as you can see, you have quite a big option here. So that's kind of, that's kind of neat, right? So that's fear to that. I don't want this, so let's get rid of this. All right, okay, preferences. This is kind of cool, and this is very important as well. If I want to use this as the background, but only so I can trace something, but I don't want to import this, I leave this unchecked. Let's, you're going, well, you've lost me, dude. All righty, current timeline, bring that picture back in. So that, that's what here. Now I want to do something like, uh, I don't know, circle this little girl. Well, this little girl is my daughter, my very naughty daughter. <laughs> no, she's not. She's an angel when she sleeps. All right. So I can use this. I can, like I said, take a snapshot or animate it, but I don't want this picture in the background. So set reference images background. If I leave it unchecked when I finish this, so okay, I'm not importing, there you go, I'm not importing the image. If I want the image imported, well, then I check it. Okay, so it's that very simple. All right, so ignore this for now. Enable layer mode is very important. By checking it, you turn this into an alpha uh, channel. Unchecking it, you capture the background as well. Hmm, again, what are you talking about? Oh, alrighty. Let's go back into a background, okay. And let's do this. Why? Why not? Snapshot, fine. Okay, if I now bring this onto my timeline, because I want this for some reason on my video. See, it, it captures the background as well. If I don't want this option, painting creator, enable layer mode. Let's do the same thing again. Slightly different, so I'm not confusing you. Snapshots. Okay, delete that one Ugh. and bring this one in and voila, see how it has no longer the background and that's what I mean by alpha channel, okay? Let's go back into tools, painting creator. Uh, like I said before, I can change the duration of my animation and that's done by here. <laughs> Three seconds and you can just go mad, whatever length you want. And that's how we use painting creator and i'll address one uh question that a viewer had asked me she'd asked me hey i want to put a red circle around an individual how do i do that i instructed her to use a paint editor i forgot to tell her that you don't need to go into photoshop or whatever paint editor you want to use you can use it in here so let's do something simple Let's say I want to put a red circle around her, but then I also want that red circle to follow her. Well, in Corel Video Pro X6, you can do exactly that. So let's go to Tools, Painting Creator. First off, I need to get a reference on how big she is in the video. So I'm going to use the current timeline image. And then I'm going to... Well, I can either animate it or snapshot it. I'm, for this uh, tutorial, I'm gonna snapshot it red. And let's just do this. So I know how big she is in references. There you go, there you go. And I'm gonna uncheck it, so I'm not gonna bring this image into the background. Right, and press snapshot. Okay, so. In theory, that should all look good. There you go. And that's just where. But now, this is a still image and it's following. It's, it can't track. But can it? Yes, it can. Well, I can use my track motion. You can see where the, where this is going, right? All i got to do is track her. And then just assign my red circle to that track path. And that should do it. I don't need to track all of it. So, okay. Ah, uh, forgot to uncheck that. All right, so then I left, sorry, right, uh, whoo, left click, right click, whatever. My mouse isn't working again. 
There we go. Jesus. I gotta buy a new mouse. And match motion. So there it is. There is the little girl again. Well, my little daughter, I should say. Actually, it didn't really matter if I use that as a reference now that I think about it. Press OK. And now we should have her and the red circle following. Well, as close as I... Oh, you know what? It's going to change size because I changed the properties. But you can see what it is that I mean. All I got to do to change the properties, go match motion and then copy and paste the all right. There you go. And now it's going to follow her nice and simple. And that is how you can put a red circle around somebody or add some funny cartoons into your painting creator. So sorry about this long-winded uh, tutorial, but finally I did a tutorial on painting creators. So stop hassling me and sending me emails. And as always, thanks for watching.